up. It's so icy right now. It's the road. Yep. Very slippery. All ice. Not even snow. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's a strategy here. Today it's so icy in Dallas. And of course, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try FSD beta on the icy road. Of course it is not super safe to drive and I'm not gonna go anywhere near like interstate or anything like that or on a highway where, you know, there's a lot of cars. But I'm gonna be driving on local roads where there aren't gonna be a lot of cars. I'm not gonna activate FSD when there are cars around. So that's the rules. We're gonna go slow as well. I'm gonna be controlling the speed and we'll see if it can even auto steer for us. We'll find out what happens. Well, my guess is it's gonna alert me to take control of the steering wheel when it's, uh, you know, sliding even a little bit, but we'll find out. So we're inside the car. I'm gonna put in Tom Thumb, which is a close by grocery store. And I can't type here. Tom Thumb, all right, should be really close to us. It only takes um, two minutes, 0.3 miles, and it's all local roads. So we're gonna let it let it go and activate the FSD when we get on the road here. All right, let's go. There are no cars around. So I'm gonna drive myself first here and make sure that the GPS picks up exactly where it needs to go. All right, I'm gonna activate FSD. There are no car. Well, actually, it doesn't let me. There are cars coming, so I'm not gonna. All right, we're gonna turn and then I'm gonna. And there are no cars. It is sliding. The cars are sliding. I'm driving myself. So I'm gonna activate FSD here. See how long it goes. I'm gonna set. It doesn't go far. It says to take control immediately. The car was kind of sliding. So we're gonna try again here once we, once we turn. Definitely see a lot of cars just uh, can't get traction, especially uh, that car in front of us, that Jeep. It is a front wheel drive, so it's not gonna be going too well. I'm gonna turn up my suspension, make sure it's at high until 35, where it's good. All right, we're gonna activate this again here since there are no cars around. And we'll see what happens, how long this time. Well, it was gonna run it onto the curb, so I didn't, I didn't let it go. Let's try again. All right, you know what? I'm gonna activate FSD since there are no cars around. Let's go. It says poor weather detected, full self driving may be degraded. All right, so I don't know if this means it thinks it sees like rain and stuff or it sees snow and ice on the ground or it feels snow and ice on the ground but it definitely recognizes something is off and not in an ideal condition. However, it, it still is working and it says it's, um, it's degraded. So if there are no cars here when it turns green, I'm gonna let it, let it go. I'm gonna let it slide. All right, the speed limit is set, set at 30. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go over like 12. <laughs> 
make sure the suspension's still high. All right, that's great. Let's go. I'm surprised it handles it pretty well. We're kind of in the middle of the road here because I think the lane recognition is a little bit off. So, yep, definitely kind of confused. Um, because the I think the, the lane markings is obviously covered in ice and somewhat snow. But we will go somewhere else here. I'm going to activate it one more time and see how far it goes this time. We will make sure that... Alright. Okay. No cars. I'm going to let it go. Turn right. Alright, I'm, I'm taking control of it because there are cars coming on the other side and it was kind of sliding because and also the car kind of confuses as to where the lanes are because sometimes you can see on the screen um, it, it kind of knows there's the like somewhat immediate or like that it, it is a two-way road and not one way but there's sometimes that it doesn't recognize that and it's gonna get confused and think that it's a one-way road. So that was it guys. I only was able to try it maybe like three times because obviously if they're car around, so I don't want to, you know, be a risk. Um, I don't want to run into anyone. I don't want anyone else to run. I want to be in control as much as I can on these icy roads. So, in conclusion, the first time I tried it, it slid a little bit and immediately the car kind of alerted me. It's like, hey, take control immediately and you, it's going to deactivate the filter driving, which is understandable because like, you know, it's kind of scary and maybe the AI doesn't know how to handle that situation. I mean, some humans don't know and, you know, it, it comes with experience. So the second time was more interesting. Uh, it. It, it, it was controlling the car for much longer than I expected. The car was sliding a little bit as well. And, and obviously the car knows that. And the car says um, FSD may be degraded and just be careful. But it still kind of drove itself um, a little bit for, you know, a good 30 seconds or so before I had to take control of the car manually because it was confusing the lane. Um, it was on a two two way road, but the middle line, the yellow line, was kind of covered in ice and snow, so the car didn't know. So there are times that it thinks it's a one way road, and it would the, the car would want to get on the left side, which is uh, the wrong side, the in incoming traffic. So I took control of that immediately, but yeah. And the third time, I I didn't try it too much. It it, it drove a little a little bit, and then that was it. So yeah, when there are ice and snow on the ground or when, you know, the driving condition is not ideal, uh, it could be dangerous. So I definitely don't suggest you use full self-driving beta or even like cruise control. Obviously, it's not an ideal condition. The car doesn't know how to handle most of the situations when, when it can't control the car. But yeah, that's what happened when you try to use it on icy road. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was interesting and uh, I'll see you on the next one.